WFXR News is preparing you for the upcoming winter weather. So for today's winter weather series, Kara is going to show us an experiment. All right, you got a lot going on this time. A lot time. going on this time. <laughs> so this is something that's really cool when we start seeing more of that colder weather is seeing the changes in temperature. So mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you how to make your own thermometer. Oh, and this basically just shows how the thermometer changes with the temperatures. Okay. So what we want to do first, this is about a fourth a cup of water we have right here. Okay. I'm going to put a few drops of food coloring just to give it a red color so we can better see what it looks like. Okay. All right. And then we're going to put a fourth a cup of rubbing alcohol. Just go with like the 70% or whatever you mm -hmm. find. Let's see here. Do you mind measuring that oh, out? Yeah. Just to the half a cup mark because we okay. already have a fourth a cup of water. Okay. Half a cup mark. There you go. Yep. That looks good. And then we're going to do about a tablespoon of oil in here as well. There we go. All right, so now what we're going to do is we have a bottle, and you can use even like a glass mason jar if you have that. Mm -hmm. I just have this skinny plastic soda bottle right here that we're going to use. Okay. And what we're going to do is pour this. You want to pour it inside? Yeah. Okay. All right. And then after you pour everything inside, we're going to create a seal with our thermometer with a straw in it as well. So this is going to act like as the thermometer part that straw is. Okay. And you want to make sure, I'm going to sit it down in here while I get the Play-Doh all ready. But you want to make sure that the straw is about maybe a half an inch away from the bottom of the bottle. Okay. You mind sitting that down? Yes. No. All right. So this is just going to create a seal around the bottle. All right. There we go. So what we can do now is look at the change in temperature. So what I have in front of us is the clear container has hot water in it and the white one has ice cold water. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll place it in here. And you don't really see much of a change when it comes to the water inside or the mixture inside of the thermometer when it comes to the straw right here. Mm -hmm. But once we put it inside the hot water, what it should do, let's see if we got it going. Oh, I see it. Yeah. I see it moving. It's very, very slow, but if you look really closely, the mixture is starting to rise inside of that straw. Yes. And that goes to show what happens is that alcohol mixture that we have in the bottle, when it gets hot outside, it, it expands. Oh. So that liquid starts to expand and it has nowhere else to go in that bottle except up through that straw. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're starting to see it rise up. Now, if we try to move it back over to this ice cold water, we may, it might take a little bit of time, but we should start to see that liquid going back down because the molecules in the liquid are starting to condense. Oh. So with that, it should start to go back down to the bottom. Oh, I see it moving. Yeah, it's very, very slow, but it is starting to slowly fall down yeah. and that's just because the molecules are condensing. That is so cool. Yeah. So that's like a cool way just to show how temperatures impact the liquid and mm -hmm. how thermometers basically work. Yes. It doesn't necessarily have the measurements on it. I can't look at this and say, hmm, so I think that degrees. water. Yeah. yeah. So, but you can actually, if you really want to try to do that, you could find a real thermometer, uh, you know, wherever it may be. I probably could find it at any store and you could try to compare and make your own measurements yourself. Oh, yeah. So if you know, okay, well, this water is let's say it's 90 degrees, mm -hmm. whatever mark it is on the bottle, you can put like a mark there and say, okay, this is 90 degrees according to a real thermometer. So this would be something neat to try out, especially when it gets cold outside, you can use it even when it snows. Oh yeah, I could do this all day. Yeah. And, and then make it hot, hot again, again. And make it and go then, back up. <laughs> yeah. And that's, and that, looks that one's fast. going a lot quicker. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. It, it's like science in real life. Science in real life. <laughs> And it's fun just to watch. <laughs> it is pretty cool. A little oh bit of entertainment. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is cool. All right. Thank you, Kara. I love learning. <laughs> and you're full of information. Thank you. Stay tuned to WFXR News as we continue to prepare you for this year's winter weather. Tonight on WFXR News at 6, our pinpoint weather team will provide this year's winter forecast.